I have a Mitsubishi Triton ML 3.2 liter diesel. It has done over 120,000 kilometers. Been a long time since I checked the rear drum brakes. So join me in this video as I remove the rear wheels using a impact wrench. And then I use vernier calipers to measure the drum brake lining to see how much wear is left on them. I have started the car because I'm going to use the impact wrench which is 12 volt and it's powered through the car battery so I don't want to drain the battery. Nuts are off, I can remove the wheel now. I've cleaned the outside a little bit with isopropyl alcohol. Now to remove these drums. So to start, release the handbrakes so that the brake shoes are not pushing out against the drum. And you can check it's not pushing against the drum. I have an M8 screw goes into one of the holes here. And the second one goes into the hole here. And when you screw these two screws in, it pushes the drum out. Should be able to see as I wind it, that this gap opens up. You can see the gap here widen. All right, it's out. Very dusty as you can see. I will give it a clean first before I uh, measure it. I'm giving the drum brakes a spray of isopropyl alcohol. A clean rack that I've never used before so I don't accidentally use a rack with oil on it. Give the drum a good wipe. This is how I measure the internal diameter of my brake drum. The factory specification says that the internal diameter ranges from a minimum of 295 millimeter to a maximum of 297 millimeter. I do not have a 300 millimeter vernier caliper. I'm not going to buy one just for this. So I set this up to measure it to the nearest half a millimeter. I use two 300 millimeter steel rulers. I use a 600 millimeter steel ruler and align the edge of the steel ruler so that it cuts across the center of this hole and that hole and that will give me the diameter. So I move the steel rulers and I clamp them with these F clamps and then I set the 100 millimeter mark on the outer edge thickness of this steel ruler and I take the reading on the outer edge of this steel ruler and the reading is 100 millimeter here and 395 millimeter here so the internal diameter is 295 millimeter so there's no measurable wear I can detect using this method and it shows to me that the drum is still within factory specification this is a close-up view the 100 millimeter is against outer edge of this ruler and if I move across 
the outer edge is reading 395 millimeter. I will use isopropyl alcohol to clean the parts without removing the uh, components. Nice and black. Now for the brake lining this side. I reckon the isopropyl alcohol has cleaned it significantly. You could see previously it was very dusty. This is a close up view of the drum brakes after I've cleaned it. Now to measure the thickness of the brake lining, I will use this gap here and the vernier caliper. The reading for the thickness is 3.52 millimeters. According to the factory specification, drum brake lining thickness is a maximum of 5 millimeters to a minimum of 1 millimeter. So I have 3.52, so that's still within specification. Now to measure the front brake lining, I will use the gap here. The thickness is 3.60 millimeters, so it's nearly the same wear as the rear lining. Since both the rear and front lining are still within specifications, and also since the brake drum itself is within specifications, I will reassemble it. I have the brake drum here. There you go. That's good. Now to put the wheel in. You mean diagonally? Now it's time for me to use the torque wrench to tighten all of these wool nuts. The factory specification is 137 newton meters to 157 newton meters. I've set my torque wrench to 145 newton meters. Okay, now that they're all tensioned, I can start applying full torque to it. I put an extension on this so that the arm can get past the tire without rubbing it. Alright, it's clicked. Now to do the others. It's done. Well, as you can see, I've finished checking the drum brakes and both the brake drum and the lining are both still within factory specifications and serviceable so I can keep using this for a few thousand more kilometers. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more and to help the channel grow. Thank you so much.